All right, Marcosan, do it just like I told you. Uh, okay. Apparently they're practicing magic now. Ooh. It's, it's no good. I'm sorry, Gascon, I just can't do it. Marcosan, are you lying to me? What? I know you can do it. You're just pretending that you can't. No, I, I'm not pretending. You are. Why would you do something like that? I'm not pretending. I'm really not. Hey, you shouldn't pick on your little brother like that. I wasn't picking on him. I just want to know the truth. Well, there's no need to be so pushy. I'm sure he'll be able to cast that spell before long. Don't you see? He can already cast that spell. He can cast loads of spells. Huh? He's always been able to, and now all of a sudden he's pretending that he can't. Why would he do that? Maybe he enjoys watching Father tell me off. Do you really think that's it, Gascon? Hey? Eh? Marcusan hates seeing you get told off, but he'd hate being separated from you even more. What are you? Only those who are capable of becoming sages can ascend to the throne of Hamlin. Isn't that right? How can you... What are you saying that for? Because Marcusan knows it too. He knows that if he were to show promise as a sage, if he showed himself worthy of becoming emperor... Well, I don't need to tell you what would happen. That's why he keeps pretending to be no good at magic. What are you... How do you know all this? That's a good question. Heh, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is that this isn't a situation I'd wish on anyone. It doesn't matter. I want Marcusan to become a powerful wizard. I won't let you stop me helping that happen, no matter who you are. So moody. I know you won't. Hell, I wouldn't. This is Herr Rotlinia, and welcome back to my playthrough of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. We just... Rested for a while at the spooky abandoned shack. And there is a pot pack here with something in it. A curse be gone. Oh, and another of those strange robots here, too. Flipping heck, this robot's taken a proper battering. Hey, you don't reckon robots have good ghosts, do you? Well, if we don't go touching it, we won't get any robot spirits clanking after us. Come on, Nolly boy, on we go. So let's do some real resting at this waystone. And on we go. We have a sunshade, a boogie, and a wisp. Time for your bubble bath, guys. Get a mighty. Nito! 
those enemies have been defeated. Let us keep going. And here we have two zombos and a wisp. continue along this dark, narrow trail. Oh, it's getting dark. Really dark. Is it just me, or did it get a lot darker all of a sudden? I don't like the look of this. I, I can't see where I'm going. It's too dark. Come on, Ollie boy. Use your head. You've got the perfect spell for brightening things up a bit, and it... You're right. spell that we want here is Magic Lamp. A light in the darkness. We also want to put on Levitate because there are some curse traps in this area. And what we want to do here is light a few torches. Come on, Ollie boy. Brighten things up a bit, will you? Here's the first torch that we have to light using magic lamp. If you pass through this c cave, you'll find a mighty altar, or you would if the path weren't blocked. They say that c candlelight may open the way ahead, but I'm afraid I don't have a light. Well, we do. That candle is already lit. So let us go here. Another candle to light. Now let's go north here. And there's another candle to light. Three zombos. Zombos. And Oliver levels up. And there is a chest here. Contains a misty shroud. Huh. Thing about levitate is that it doesn't last very long. So let's 
let's head back to the east. Now let us go up this way. Here is another candle to light. Oh, didn't get it. You have to be right on top of it to light it. There we go. Here is another candle in this recess. Now we go into this room, and there is another to light. Here's that door that's blocking the way. Bar the paths blocked good and proper. No amount of pushing and shoving will get us through there. Hmm, maybe there's some sort of trick to it? Or does that seem a bit far-fetched? Yes, there is a trick to it, Mr. Drippy. Levitate again. We want to go up this way now. Here we have two egg rolls and a a girl fiend. Looks like girlfriend, but it's girl fiend. So long, enemies. There is a chest, and here is another candle to light. I think this may be the last one. The ground is shaking. is open. Did you feel that shaking just now? And what about all that noise from over by the other side? It made my lantern rattle, man. Hold on. My fairy senses tell me we might be able to carry on up the path now, and my fairy senses never lie. Is that so, Mr. Drippy? In this chest here... Contains an Avenger's badge. So let us go back and head north up this path. And we're back outside. Hello, Zombo. A Zombo, a Boogie, and a Wisp. Have a nice afterlife, enemies. Until the mall levels up. Isn't it about time for you to be metamorphosable? Anyway, there is a blue treasure chest here behind this tree. Let us spring the lock. And we 
we obtain a Devil's Fang? Farther up this narrow trail, there is an alcove here with a waystone. So before heading up to the end of the trail, we will rest and save. This is Herotlinia. I would like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.